John, how pleased were you with the way your guys handled the moment? It didn't seem you didn't seem shaken down 1-0. You didn't seem affected by the big crowd and the hoopla, any of the stuff. Well, I, I certainly think we were in the first period. We seemed we were a nervous hockey club. Uh, uh, quite honestly, I think it was a good process we went through, uh, where we we were really nervous and. We talked about it in between the periods, talked about how we've been playing in this league, and uh, that's when I thought they took a great step mentally, that they, they believe they can win. Uh, where in the first period, I thought we were wet in our pants. And uh, so it's a great process to go through for a young team to find its way in the last two periods. How do you talk somebody out of, out of being nervous? Well, I'll, I'm not going to tell you what I said, but uh, you have to. You have to. I, 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 I just want them to know how good they've been playing, and they don't. They really shouldn't be nervous. They should feel good about how they've done it. They've done it consistently here for 30 games. Why not right now? And uh, I just want them to believe in themselves in these type of situations. And uh, so it actually ended up being a really good process for the team to go through. Torts, I know you're not going to tell us what you said, if you said anything uh, after that second period, but going into the third period, they come out with those three goals in 51 seconds, yeah. and then Hartsey gets the hat trick. Yeah. That was an explosive period. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do think we catch, uh, catch their goalie on a bit of an off night there. Uh, he's been playing really well for him, But I, I just like the way we – I just – I did say – one thing I did say to him in between the first and second period – if we're going to go down, we better do it aggressively, not just watching. And uh, I said, I didn't care how many mistakes we'd make. I want it done aggressively. And I thought we got into that mindset. Uh, and things happened for us. The puck went in. So uh, yeah, for tonight, it was a good night for us. John, besides his goals, obviously, the Hartnell seemed to have an extra jump. And he's the type of new game. skates. I'm sorry. He's wearing new skates. <laughs> no lie. No lie. That's what the boy said. He's wearing new skates. So. Uh, I'm not sure what kind they are, uh, but it's certainly. What are you doing with that thing? Uh, he, yeah, he he played well. He played well, and uh, um, I can't answer questions when that thing's just staring at me. So. All right, how about this? Are these, uh, are these the type of games that for a veteran guy, um, it's not just another night. It, it, there's some jump to your game even as a veteran. You talking about Hartsey? Yeah. Yeah, it was. He, uh, he's been playing good. Um, and it's nice for him to get rewarded. He's had some chances, uh, but hasn't been rewarded, I, I think, for the effort that he's put in. Uh, yeah, so he, he's a well-liked guy in the team. I think everybody wants to see him do well. Uh, he has a little bit of personality. So yeah, I'm happy for him. He, he is, he's really, like I said the night before, he's really worked on his play away from the puck. Um, so it was a good night for him. Coach, when you're game planning for a game against a really good Penguins team, uh, what is it you do to shut down a player who's just historically great like Sidney, Sidney Crosby? Well, I'll have to watch the tape. I mean, he scores the first goal. Um, I, I, thought, I thought one of the, uh, the key things that we got better at was the neutral zone play as far as not giving him enough ice to, to get going. He's hard to stop if you give him some ice early. So I thought we closed off the him and Malkin. I thought we closed off the neutral zone pretty well in the second and third period. Uh, still ends up at, I think, five or six shots. But uh, uh, I don't think you stop him. You just try to contain him. Uh, and I, I thought we did a pretty good job of it uh, going in the second and third. John, this, uh, I think, is the fourth game where you've had kind of an avalanche of goals in a short period of time. One time might be a fluke, but when it happens repeatedly, what, what is behind that type of explosion? I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, we're just trying to play. We're trying to play as fast as we can. Uh, we're trying to get the puck up uh, in the neutral zone uh, as quick as we can. And then the players just take over. I, I think they've. Uh, uh, some of our offensive guys are playing with some confidence right now. They're making plays. And uh, the key part for us is we want and I thought in the first period, we played slow. We played too much east-west. Uh, we were really tentative. And I, I just thought we let our game go. And talent takes over. They make some plays, and they score some goals. John, up 6-1, to one, you had your top power play unit out. I could see Sullivan talking to you after they, that scored. Yeah. Is that a response to the game last year where they had theirs out 5-2 <coughs> in the final minute? I, I don't know. Uh, it's, between Sully and I, we'll keep that stuff to ourselves. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'll just leave it at that.
Coach, I promise I won't film you during this question, but uh, <laughs> you know, when you're going up a, against a team like the Penguins who are really great in the third period, I think they're like 42 and 18 in goals in the third period. What was the key to really shutting them down and then just three goals in 51 seconds? I mean, how did you do that against a really good third period yeah, Penguins team? I mean, it's not we, like we sit up there and write, write it out that we're going to score three goals in such and such a time. I, I just thought we played more aggressive, more on our toes uh, going into that second period. And that's when I thought we started controlling more of the game. And then through attrition, uh, you start trying to get more four checks, more time in the end zone. And the puck went in for us tonight. We're not going to score seven goals on that team uh, that often. Uh, uh, but I, I just, we got on our toes. I, I thought we were so, we, we were really nervous. And uh, as I said in the first question, I, the way it turned out, I think it's good for our team to go through it uh, and understand that, you know what? We're a pretty good team. We, we don't need to be nervous playing against any team in the National Hockey League here. We're a pretty good team. We don't have all the answers, but we certainly go in, can't go into games being nervous. And uh, hopefully this will help us if we get into another situation like that. <coughs> there are mixed opinions in the room about this, but do you consider the series with Pittsburgh a rivalry? Do I? I don't. I, I don't. I think you have to play a number of, uh, of playoff rounds. Uh, I'm not sure how, was it six games a couple years ago? Was that the series? I'm not sure how it was played, was it, whether it was banging or I, I think it needs to be a consistent, uh, a team needs to be a consistent playoff team to really create rivalries. And uh, I, I know this is a different game. I, I, I know the people, the, the building was different. Uh, I think that's why we're a little nervous. Uh, but if you start becoming a consistent team, you've got to be able to handle those type of situations. And that's why I like the process we went through. But uh, a rivalry, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we start one as we as we keep on playing here in the regular season. But I, I think you need to go through a grind of a playoff series and and see where it goes from there. Tomorrow you're going to play against uh, Montreal. Earlier this season, when you face uh, the Abs, you were one game above 500. Since that win, 10 nothing, you're 18, two and three. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that huge victory was? Maybe not a turning point, but a, a boost for your confidence in your dressing room? It was a dumb game. I mean, uh, I, I think we helped Montreal. Uh, wh what's their record since that game? Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it is, uh, uh, it's, it's, that's an aberration what happened. And um, whether, I mean, you always get confidence when you get it for the offensive people. I think we scored some goals here along the way. Maybe it helped there, but. Uh, we move by that game, and we just get ready for each and every game here. So turning point, I don't know. I, I, just, I just want us to consistently get ready each day to be the best we can be, and, and then we'll see where the chips fall.